y'all doing? It's me, some guy named Matt, and on this episode, I will be reviewing Monte Cristo Nashville series. Series. I forget the S. I tell you what, why don't you stick around, and I'll be back with a review of this lovely, lovely stick. That's right, I am some guy named Matt, and as the title said, this is the review of the Monte Cristo Nashville series. Now folks, at one point, this box of 10 came in a nice presentation. As you can see, I'm down to two. We're not allowed to say what happened to the other eight. So what do you say we look into this, shall we? First and foremost, we take it out of the box. So this stick here is woohoo, almost falling out of my hands. It's six inches, so that's how big six inches is. By 54 ring gauge. <laughs> what do you say we take it out of the cell so you can actually see it a little bit better, huh? Ho oh, oh. mm, mm -mm. oh, it's watering a bit just by spot. So here's six inches by the 50 ring gauge. Now this is a Nashville spe market specific cigar. I looked it up online so I could tell you the origins of the tobaccos. Couldn't do it. So, uh, take the foot band off, give it a good whiff. Ah. Uh, What is earthy? Definitely an earthy scent to it. So, what do you say we uh, snip this bitch, fire it up, and see where this son bitch takes us? Nice, beautiful V cut there. Also known as a wedge cut. Now, here's going to be a first. On cigar smoking vids to the deuce. Since it is a Monte Cristo, and I got these matches at Casa de Monte Cristo. Enjoy a cigar at Casa. I'm gonna light my cigar. The old fashioned way with a nice. I meant to do that with a nice wooden match. She does big. That's what she said. <laughs> now, the question is how do you do it? You wait for all that sulfur to burn off. 
and you gently, ever so gently toast the foot of that cigar. The all-natural taste of a wooden match. Mm -mm -mm. So what do you say? Shall we get into it? Now right off the right off the bat, right off the light, definitely some peppery notes with some earthiness some woodsiness a little bit of spiciness on the finish and you know what I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I know what would pair best with it. <laughs> the remainder of the sample. Thank you very much. Team. Hashtag Team BCP. BestCigarPrices.com Best Cigar Pub. Hashtag Team BCP. Mmm. Going very good. So here we go. This was a pure guess, so let me see. Oh yeah! I think I'm gonna have to uh, migrate to Pennsylvania just so I can. Uh, well, I'll have to get a hotel room because I'm not gonna overly partake in one and make the Duchess drive. Because after about five minutes, <clears throat> we all know how I get when I drink. She'll make me get out and walk the rest of the way back to Nashville. Now, as you can see, if I can get my hand out of the way here, there you go. The ash is holding on very good. So far, I'd say it's about two inches. Holding on. And uh, simply because I don't want to take a chance of wearing it is the only reason I'm going to tap it off right here. One solid chunk. As you can see, very nice burn line. So, we'll be back. We'll be back. Me and my camera and the cicadas, we'll all be back. <laughs> And I'll be back as we transition into the second third of this cigar. Stick around. Whoa! Y'all, you ain't gonna believe this. I just had, like, the killer flashback, dude. No, it wasn't from Iraq, no, no. I had a flashback to second grade. You know, we, we, we took a field trip to a farm, right? We saw all these animals and all that. 
and we came back to school and the teacher asked us, said, well, what were some of the sounds you heard on the farm? And, you know, all the other kids, they're yelling out the easy answers, you know, quack, moo, oink. And, you know, I, uh, I yelled out what I heard on the farm. Hey, you! Get off the fucking tractor! Needless to say, at that point, the teacher fainted. So, as you can see, about halfway through the second third, and the pepper has really died off, uh, getting more of the earthy tones. Even the woodsiness has died off. It's real earthy, not kicking you in your mouth like you're eating a, a, a mud pie dirt. But it is, it's nice, you know, just kick back. Um, I had the Duchess poke her head in earlier and she to ask her, and she seems to tell me that the room notes are very, very pleasant, she said. So, Stick around as I, uh, as I get into the final third and my overall review of the Monte Cristo Nashville series. Alright folks, see I'm pretty much at the band line which means one thing, the final third. And I can tell you the uh, the earthiness has died off, the woodsiness has come back, and as I'm transitioning into the the final third here, I am catching some creaminess, some notes of creaminess, and on the finish, the peppery spice has really. Uh, Got the lips tingling. Mm. So, cheers. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Stick around as I finish up with a cigar and uh, give you my overall thoughts. Have you ever heard a song and no matter how annoying it is, just get stuck in your head? Now I'm not talking about things like Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. I'm not talking about that. And I ain't talking about uh, Jenny Jenny. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, nine, eight, six. You know y'all are singing along with that right now. Yeah, you know that. I'm like, as you're listening to it, it's fresh music. Or so the DJ keeps telling me. Yeah, that's been happening with me. I'm debating, excuse me, on whether or not I should do it. Because I was raised. Nah, I don't want to hurt your ears. <laughs> You know, I said as I uh, started reviewing cigars again that I was going to be making some mistakes from time to time. 
you know, until I get back into the rhythm of things. And this is prime example. I, throughout this entire uh, uh, cigar and updates on it during the review, have failed to let you know. It's been a, a decent medium smoke, maybe medium to full towards, you know, as, as we're getting down here. Uh, just about nubbing it, but I am running d down on my battery, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to give the wrap up here. This cigar, the Monte Cristo Nashville series, started off at 6x50, which is a double Robusto. Had no issues with it whatsoever. <clears throat> For whom the gong tolls. Nothing. It's trash. <clears throat> it started off with some, uh, some pepper, some earthy tones, some woodsiness. In the first third, it fell back on the spiciness and the, uh, the earthy tones kind of fell back a bit too, if I remember correctly. Um, and in the final third, some creaminess came right in. And the uh, pepper returned on the finish. So, all in all, very, very good, 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 good cigar. Hey, I'm no beach boy, what can I say? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm not a cigar aficionado over here, so I'm not going to give the 90 ratings and all that. On a scale of 1 to 10, I definitely would give this one a 9.8599. 9.9. The construction was great all the way through. Um, flavors were good. Didn't overpower the body, which any of y'all know, no, that's the way I like it. I like the flavor profile to match the body profile. So there, it was medium, medium to full at, at the strongest. Very good. And according to the Duchess of Cigarello, lovely, lovely woman. All right, I'll show you. Look. See? Her chair is empty. I'm duchessless. Uh, the room notes are very good on this. So you won't be offending your significant other if they are not a lover of the leaf. Mm. It paired very good with um, the BCP uh, BCP's Selection Barrel uh, by Jack Daniels. I know nobody's going to have that. You can you can you can pair it with a lot of whiskeys out there. Uh, a few that come to mind would be uh, Four Roses, Buffalo Trace. Uh, Gentleman Jack, even another Jack Daniels product. A lot of good, good uh, whiskeys and bourbons out there that you could definitely uh, pair this with, including. And I know I haven't had too much on the uh, Stop Twenty Two lately, but uh, their their sponsor. Have a shot of Freedom Whiskey. We pair good with that as well. Mm, mm, mm. As my battery winds down, I'm going to continue enjoying this cigar. And... It's 
just about a week ago. Two separate uh, tragic accidents. I won't even call them accidents because they weren't accidents. Uh, big news stories. Take the time, please. Enjoy what you get. If you're not spiritual and you don't want to thank God for your blessings, thank whatever you believe in. Appreciate the blessings and the joys in your life. As a very, very good friend of mine said uh, around midweek, tomorrow's never given. Love what you've got today. While it's good to live for the future, enjoy what you've got today. Until next time, YTPC. Love what you got. Get what you love. And happy smoking.